Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Kim Jong-un has had an official state visit, a four-day visit there, uh, with President Xi Jinping in China at the invitation of China, according to RT News, as they are reporting this issue this morning. And a uh, very, very confident, very defiant, uh, solid look that Kim Jong-un gives uh, as he stands with a smiling Xi, Xi Jinping uh, president of China. I think that's a message if you want to take body language to the United States that he knows that President uh, Xi Jinping is standing with him. Uh, goes on to say though that he does is considering a denuclearization of the peninsula and actually uh, Kim Jong-un, President of North Korea, says it's our consent state uh, stand to be committed to denuclearization on the peninsula in accordance, accordance with the will of the late President Kim II Sung and late General Secretary Kim Jong-il. Uh, he said in a stark contrast to some of North Korea's previous statements as cited by uh, Xinhua News Agency there. Uh, you know, I think what it comes down to being there is that he knows that he is being threatened by the United States with a massive nuclear arsenal. And, of course, the United States has him threatening them with his own nuclear arsenal. Uh, so I'm waiting to see exactly what this denuclearization will end up being. How is that going to play out? Uh, of course, Kim Jong-un knows that China is also nuclearized, and, and maybe he has gotten reassurances from President Xi Jinping of protection uh, in the event that the United States were to launch a strike, which is something that's already been signed by China after the Korean War, uh, something that went further, much further than the U.S. did for South Korea. South Korea or U.S. is only willing to uh, protect, but not at all costs, whereas China and North Korea signed an agreement that is pretty much clad, uh, sealed uh, document there of a complete protection in the event of anybody trying to attack North Korea. Now, also another news as well, a couple of things that caught my attention here, Twitter, <clears throat> President, uh, uh, excuse me, President Zaman of the Czech Republic is asking, where is the evidence for the Scripple case? We know the Czech Republic they also expelled three Russian diplomats, and but I'm sure that was under the prime minister, not under the president. President in the Czech Republic, though a symbolic um, uh, president, not a with full powers, but yet uh, President uh, uh, Zaman has also carried some pretty heavy weight there. Sputnik carried the article about this. says, on Monday, the Czech Republic, alongside some other EU countries, decided to remove three Russian diplomats. The country's president, Milo Zaman, said he hadn't contributed to this move, which is what I thought to begin with, stressing that expulsion is not an effective tool. Zaman said in an interview with the Bliss broadcaster that proof of the accusations of Russia's involvement in the poisoning of ex-Russian intelligence officer Sergei Skripal in the UK is insufficient. I want to know the facts. I want certainly well. I will certainly welcome if the United Kingdom presents some evidence that the Russians wanted to kill Agent Skripal. The president emphasized. Zaman said on Monday, he instructed the Czech intelligence to verify the accusations of the Russian side that the substance could be developed or stored in the Czech Republic. That's another kind of a shocker right there. And of course, yes, Russia did say that that was the case as well. Uh, we do know, as I've stated before, the CIA had control of this substance there. And uh, uh, back in 1999, at the collapse of the Soviet Union, and I'm sure many other uh, Soviet bloc states probably had this as well. Whether or not the Czech Republic did or not, I don't have any idea. Uh, but these are just some of the highlights that are going on right now. Also, this one here as well, breaking the IDF uh, tanks strike to Hamas observation post in northern Gaza after two Palestinians crossed the border fence and, and started uh, a firefight there. Anyway, we'll be following these and other stories as we go on later the, today. If you want to catch the broadcast live, it'll be on live stream. Dr. Stephen Pigeon will be joining us once again to discuss uh, this situation uh, going on between Russia and that of Great Britain, the expulsion of the diplomats, 
and try to get a better idea of exactly what's going on. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Don't forget to support the broadcast. IsraeliNewsLive.org is our website. Also on this YouTube channel, just above the subscribe button, you can donate there. And also on live stream, Israeli News Live. Watch the broadcast live this evening, 5 p.m. check time, which is about, well, I think that as far as Eastern time, be about 11 a.m. in the morning on Eastern time zone in the United States. You're not going to want to miss the broadcast. We'll post it here in just a few moments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this broadcast. Your support is greatly appreciated. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live and also on Roku TV. Don't forget, if you go to Roku TV, just download the live stream app, search for Israeli News Live. You can watch it right there from your house. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.